Hey guys! One of the biggest problems you'll hear foreigners talking about in Japan is their lack of a deodorant selection. There are all kinds of rumors about why Japanese people don't have as much body odor as us stinky foreigners. You'll hear that it's because we foreigners don't clean ourselves, unlike Japanese people who often take a full bath every single night. You'll hear that it's because of our love for dairy and meat products. Or you'll hear that it's because Japan is a magical land, where when you step off of the airplane, suddenly you don't need to wear deodorant anymore. But like most mysterious questions, the actual answer lies in science. To understand this, you need to know where body odor comes from. We have two primary types of sweat glands, eccrine and apocrine. Eccrine sweat glands are small and found almost everywhere in your body. As you can see from this picture, they go directly from underneath your skin to your skin's surface. They secrete a mixture of water and salt, and this is used to cool down your body. But then we have apocrine sweat glands, and these are the glands that cause body odor. These glands are larger and only found in certain areas of your body, primarily your underarms and your pubic region. Instead of secreting directly onto your skin, they secrete into a hair follicle, which then carries the sweat up onto your skin. And these glands secrete primarily protein, lipids, which are things like fatty acids, and steroids. By itself, the sweat does not smell. However, it is a delicious and desirable substance for the bacteria that live on our skin. So the bacteria feed off of this sweat, metabolize it, and then their waste products are what smell. So body odor essentially comes from bacteria poop. This is also why if you want to prevent body odor, you should be looking for a deodorant that makes your underarms an inhospitable place for bacteria to live. Different bacteria and the different enzymes they use to break down our sweat produce different smells, which is why different people have different body odors. So then what makes Japanese people have less body odor? Genetically, they have fewer of these apocrine sweat glands. Why? That's not fair. How does that happen? Why do I have to be more smelly? It all comes from one specific gene, ABCC11. There are two variations of this gene, one with the allele A and one with the allele G. People born with the G allele have more active apocrine sweat glands, whereas people born with the A allele have fewer apocrine sweat glands and little to no body odor. The smelly allele G appears to be the original version of the gene, whereas the non-smelly allele A appears to have emerged approximately 2,000 generations ago. Why did the A allele appear? We don't really know, but we think it might have something to do with colder climates. Here you can see a chart of what percentage of different races have which allele. So most of us who are African, Latin American, European, or Pacific Islander have the smelly version of the gene. However, only about a quarter of Japanese people, less than 10% of Chinese people, and pretty much no Koreans have the smelly version of the gene. But there's more to this gene than just whether you produce body odor or not. There's a type of apocrine gland in your ear canal that produces earwax. As many of you may have heard, Japanese people typically have something called dry earwax, which is flaky, unlike our earwax, which is wet and goopy. The type of earwax you have is determined by the version of the gene ABCC11 that you have. So if you have the G allele, you will have wet earwax, and if you have the A allele, you will produce dry earwax. So this is a very quick way to check which version of the gene you have and whether or not you're likely to produce much body odor. In conclusion, this is why most Japanese people don't smell as much and why they don't have as large a variety of deodorant as we have. So just because you moved to Japan, that doesn't mean you can magically stop using deodorant. I have a video coming up soon where I will show you the different types of deodorants in Japan and which ones I recommend for us smelly foreigners. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you later.